So the company this year is 25 years old. Murray started the business in 1988 when he certified the farm in Berwick Certified Organic and started processing. And if you were around a few years ago, you'll recall that uh, I took over the processing business while Dad kept the land in 1997. And we moved the processing into Berwick. And that was 16 years ago. This afternoon, we're going to do it in four stages. Uh, a description of a bit of background right now. And then we'll have a few other people in the room uh, share a few thoughts and words. We'll have a Q&A, and then we'll do a tour of the property. When I left my job in Montreal in 1997 to take over from Dad at the time, he was doing a good thing in the barn, literally in the barn, doing organic seed cleaning and organic feed manufacturing, but he was installed very inappropriately, extremely labor-intensive, and I remember helping out one day, and my gosh, this was crazy. We had to do something about that. So he split the business in two, he kept the land, I took the, uh, the processing off the farm and into the old Berwick feed mill. And you recall then that that Berwick feed mill had been closed down for a couple of years prior to that and nothing much was happening. And it was going to either uh, burn down from a vandal or be torn down to be redeveloped into a house or something like that, just like other things in Berwick, like the Berwick Hotel's gone now. <laughs> and at the time, the building for us was perfect. It was extremely affordable, like down dirt right cheap for us. It was right sized for us. It was a great location. It was my hometown, so it made lots of sense. But over 16 years there, we had a good time, we did a lot of work, and now a decision had to be made. 16 years ago, we handled 500 tons in my first year in Berwick, but in the last two years, we were over 7,000 tons. At the time, I was the only employee, and Dad showed up on occasion every second day for volunteering, but now we're 14 people, without parking, or running toilets, or running water. And, uh, and no space to do much of anything else. We were cramped for space. We were operating about 7,000 square feet, including the floor of the building, three highway trailers, and a tent. Just a scrounged up storage space for products coming in, products going out. So we had to make a decision. And we spent with my son, Yannick, uh, just behind here, been back in the business for the last three years. So this is a three-generation operation. Uh, we started looking around for options three years ago. And if you've come to other press events that we've held over the years, and yes, you have, we've had a number of false starts of good ideas that didn't pan out for whatever reason, uh, largely, and the most interesting or difficult challenge most small businesses have is access to capital. Um, but the, the scenario we did develop a few years ago was actually expanding in Berwick. That would be the logical choice. You're in Berwick, you have a building there, you have a property, expand on site. And we spent a pile of money designing that and budgeting that scenario. In fact, presented to council, went through a purchase agreement next door, went through rezoning, all to discover it was not financially viable. Despite the fact that we live in Berwick and we'd like to stay there, it just wasn't viable. Building new factory space is pushing $100 a square foot. And we just couldn't make the numbers work. Whereas purchasing existing facilities that someone else paid for years ago is a way more affordable. If you look, just look at some of the industrial transactions in eastern Ontario, you know that a real estate of this type varies between $15 and $35 a square foot versus $100 a square foot to build new. So it became obvious, for financial reasons, we couldn't stay in Berwick, unfortunately. So here we are. We've shopped around SDNG, and we're staying in SDNG, so this is a good news story for SDNG. I'm not going to say this is a gain for Morrisburg and a loss for Berwick. On the contrary, I think this is a gain for SDNG. All of our people will be coming with us, so no one's losing their job because we're moving from Berwick to Morrisburg. Some of them will travel a little further, yes. Others not, because we have uh, two, two people living in Cornwall who travel out to Berwick every day. Well, to Morrisburg is the same trip. They'll be okay with that. And yes, further uh, job growth will happen here in Morrisburg, and there'll be opportunities for people around the area. I mentioned a moment ago that the biggest challenge for growth is capital. Homestead Organics is blessed, I would say, lucky to be blessed with community support. Uh, the company has over 30 private investors supporting the business uh, with either shares or subordinate debt or promissory notes. They've been our customers, our suppliers, family and friends, and other people interested in the development of organ organic agriculture, and they, they're supporting the company through their investments. And we have well over a million dollars invested in the company from these individuals to support the business over the years. And over the years, we installed a million dollars worth of infrastructure in Berwick. Moving down here to Morrisburg, if I include everything, all of our activities with all of our equipment and a reinstallation of silos and structures that we need here, we need here is a project worth about $2.4 million, including the purchase of the property. 
Now, unfortunately, we don't have 2.4 million right now, so we're going to do it in two steps. The first step, uh, with work starting this winter to install equipment and hopefully processing on March 1st, will be the moving of our soybean cleaning, or our, our whole grain cleaning, which is mostly soybeans anyways. Homestead Organics will be handling this year about 2,500 tons of certified organic soybeans cleaned, bagged, and shipped off to uh, food manufacturers of tofu and soya milk here in Ontario, Quebec, and New England. And that's going to be the first activity we'll move here with other whole grain handling and warehousing happening on location. Then once we pr prove the growth, the numbers, the financial viability, and round up some more capital, we trust we'll be able to move the rest of the operations within a couple of years. And we'll see about that. So for the moment, and for a couple of years, this will be a two-site operation. With the administrative offices, the mailbox, staying in Berwick, and a couple of people working here for a couple of years doing soybean cleaning, packaging, and shipping. And then activities growing from there on. That's about the story. From at this moment, I invite a few people. Oh, I, sorry, I wanted to highlight some people in the room who are key to what we've been doing so far. Of course, I mentioned again my parents, my father Murray in particular, who started the business on the home farm in, in 88, so we can celebrate now 25 years. And my son Yannick, who joined the business a few years ago. I do want to hi highlight. Um, Eve, uh, here we are, Eve uh, from OMAFRA, or OMAF, if you wish. Yes. He and I met uh, in the OMAF office at the time in Avonmore. Uh, and our first meeting back in 96, when we were developing the business plan to open the mill in Berwick. And he's been on our, on our account, our case, if you wish, for the last uh, 25 years. And I've always trusted Eve, uh, uh, La Victoire, uh, to help us out with all kinds of advice, uh, programs, networks, and connections. Uh, I want to highlight uh, Paul Bourgeois, our bank manager at RBC. Where are you, Paul? Oh. There you are. Uh, Paul, our RBC account manager for the last few years, been a tremendous support and understanding uh, of our business to help us out financially. I want to point out uh, Marty and uh, Darren, who were Fleury, who were the owners of this property until today, officially. We took ownership today. Uh, so this is not just a, a pie in the sky thing, this is real. Uh, thank you very much for introducing us to the building in the first place. And also I want to note that along with uh, Eastern Ontario, I should say, Eastern Ontario mill writing with advanced grain handling, and I note Mike and Mike and Peter over here, uh, the four, those two companies based here in Morrisburg and an area we're doing most of our uh, technical work, our silos, our infrastructure, and our mill writing. So this two and a half million dollar project has huge spin-off in the local area with two major contractors uh, doing the work for us and building the property. I want to point out Randy V note. Uh, Harlan Vino Transport here in Morrisburg, who's been our transportation partner for many years now, going back about 13 years we've known each other now, um, uh, doing all, most of our hauling of skidded products into and out of Berwick, and we'll be doing the same thing from this location. And in the room, people that I've worked with over the years, I guess that's about most of them. Uh, Bob Hogue from Mountain Path, a uh, friend and partner in North Dundas, uh, doing a lot of flour milling. And of course, I want to highlight Randy McIntosh there. Randy is one of several farmers in Dundas County that we service by either buying their harvest or supplying them with inputs. And we work, work with hundreds of farmers in eastern Ontario, in Quebec, northern New England, and Atlantic Canada, uh, buying crops and providing organic inputs for their farms. That being said, I'd like to invite a few uh, VIPs here today to say a few words, starting with uh, His Worship the Mayor, Mr. Stephen Bybelt. Thank you, Tom, and welcome to Morrisburg and South Dundas. I know that this site has been sitting here many years, many rumors. Uh, I'm glad to see this is not a rumor. This is totally official, and we will get this uh, facility back up and running one way or the other, and I'm glad that you're here and are going to do a, a new venture uh, in our area. It may be an old venture in, in North Stormont, but it, it's new for down here. Uh, it's agricultural. Our agricultural base is, uh, is the backbone of South Dundas and Dundas County and SD&G. Uh, I farm for a living also. I'm more conventional than Tom and we may agree to disagree on our methods, but Fair that's enough. okay. Uh, as Tom has mentioned, you know, he's worked with local suppliers. Uh, I know Advanced Sutter Brinston and, and Randy back there from Vino's is uh, any money that's spent within our municipality uh, 
multiplies as it goes along. So that's a good thing for, for our area. And I certainly want to welcome you here and we'll see how the whole process evolves over time. And uh, I suspect that someday there'll be a few more jobs around, more dollars, and, and that's a good thing. So welcome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate the, the welcome. That's great. Uh, Chuck